Hey guys, Forex Capital here. Let's take a look and see what Cosmos is doing today. So, looking at the daily chart, guys. So, this is look actually looking pretty good. Um, let's see. We have this 200-day moving average here. We had this bounce from the 200-day moving average. Wish I would have been paying attention to this because this would have been a good, really good long. Right now, it's still a good long. Let's just draw some fibs here and see what they tell us. Let's see from where we're going to go. Let's try from this high June 24th, 2019 to this low of what? March 13th low. So if we draw the fibs, let's see. By the way, guys, if you guys like the video, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to pulverize that like button because that's the only way you're going to help out the channel reach 7 billion people. I mean, two guys that train me always say, make sure you train somebody. Here I am with a YouTube channel trying to help everyone in the world how to make shackles in the crypto market. So that being said, guys, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to pulverize that like button. And if you get anything useful out of the channel, send one friend to the channel. So if we use those fibs. I mean, we were right on point. We retraced it back to the 50% retracement, so $4.42. And now we're having a little bit of a struggle at $5.22, which is all right. Um, I do want to see a break above that and holding above. At the same time, we have the 20 day moving average right there. So as long as we hold above those two, depending on where we close today, I mean, Today's candle is going to tell us where we're going because if we close below this, we might see a retest of the 200 day moving average. We might even, you know, retest the $4.42 and then pull right back above the 200 day moving average. So definitely I want to see and hold above, you know, about 538 or so because if that is the case, you know, your next target is 631. 635 or so and then let's see let's do some fib extension so we'll do march 13 slow to the high of august 23rd to the low of what september 23rd so i would say your first objective is this bigger fib 78 percent retracement uh then your next one will be seven dollars and seventy six cents and then ultimately the eight dollars and seventy eight cents so though those will be your objective if we would use the fib extensions by the way guys you guys requested it we deliver we created easy crypto pro go and check it out uh, go, i'll put it down on the description below also Go and check out my personal Instagram, forexcapital.ca. Don't forget to follow me and go and check out the Instagram for Easy Crypto Pro, Easy Crypto Pro, uh, and Instagram. So go check those out. So it looks like, okay, so here's the thing. The candle closed for today. We closed below. So now we have to wait for December 14. I'm in the U.S., so right now it's still December 13th. So we got to wait until tomorrow and see what is this candle going to do. Because we closed, we couldn't break above that. And then, we, like I said, we might see a pullback. So we just have to be very careful with this pair. Um, I mean, I guess you could go long if we do some uh, risk to reward. If you do your first target... Hmm. So if you go along right now, first of all, it's decent 5.1921, which is good. Uh, but your stop loss has to be below. That's more like 4. 4.19 to be safe. Uh, technically speaking, your stop, I mean, that's if you put a really tight stop, your stop should be right below the 200 day moving average, which will put your ratio to 1.95 to 1. If you want to do tight stops, you know, at about there, the ratio will be 4.28. So um, it, it kind of depends where you want to be. I kind of want to stand aside for now on this because I feel like um, until we break above the 61% retracement, so $5.22, where, ugh. Even though the risk to war is good, I kind of don't want to get in. I feel like we're right up top. 
and this wig this is the other thing when we have wigs like this even though this is pear kind of loves to have wigs i'm not too much of a fan when pears have too many wigs because then it just gets very a lot harder than what it should be so let's just take this off uh, again if we go to the weekly even though see the weekly if we were to close above the 61 percent retracement we would be golden so this weekly means a lot of indecision and then we just kind of have to wait and see what's going to happen this you know this week i mean we started a whole new week so we got a long ways to go for it to close so we're just going to trade off the daily so so right now i'm kind of going to stand aside in wait and see mode uh, once it gets a little bit of a bit entry point if you got long here a few days ago on the 11th and then i would hold i would probably move my stop to break even um that way you don't turn a uh, winning position into a losing position so by the way guys if you guys like the video hit the subscribe button don't forget to pulverize that like button thanks again guys